through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic, hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 214. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're going to give you our DVD rundown for the week of December 18th. Mm hmm. Wow. We're halfway through already. Yep. Almost, Almost Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Or the end of the world this end of this week, if as you know it. what you may believe. And it. I feel fine. <laughs> um, uh, that's because it's not actually that date now, Spencer. It will be then, but it's not I now. I see. I see. When we're there, you can talk about then, but was, we're in now. I was going now. for the REM song. <laughs> I know, yeah, I know, I good. know. Um, <laughs> First up, we're going to talk a little bit about the future, though, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we're going to talk Total Recall. Yes. Obviously, we're talking the remake. Yes. The not one the from Schwarzenegger. this year. Not the Schwarzenegger <laughs> one. No, this one's the. We're uh, talking about the Marsless Total yes. Recall. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go Hagen. Um, <laughs> this is the one with Colin Farrell and Kate Beckinsale. Mm -hmm. It and Jessica Biel, right? Jessica yeah. Biel, yeah. And essentially, yeah, Kate Beckinsale becomes the badass mm -hmm. in this the one. The Terminator instead, robot? Yeah, instead of Michael Ironside in the original. Mm -hmm. um, Not surprisingly, what, like, directed or produced by the guy who did the Underworld movies? And her husband. Yeah. And Kate Beckinsale's yeah. husband. Well, I mean, I can I forget which day you director, producer. Do you remember? Uh, I don't know. He, yeah. at the very least. I mean, he was He's definitely in, heavily yeah. involved. <laughs> yeah. Len Wise, when we're giving a shout out. That's right. But, um,. Not not a good film. Let me no. just put it that way. Anyway, yeah. you know, it's the it's one of the bigger <laughs> releases of the day, and it's got some interesting stuff mm -hmm. on it. First up, the God of War game demo. Like, what the fuck is that on there for? I don't know. But because um, Sony, that's why. I guess so. Yeah. But more interestingly, I thought one of the cool featurettes was science fiction versus science fact. Hmm. I I, don't, I mean I don't know how much there really is depth to that, but yeah. at the very least, I, I would love to discuss the the concept of yeah. Total Recall Probably and the like, actual. Hey, here's science. what they guessed, and here's how wrong they were, which is usually how well, that they, argument goes. On one of the uh, Fringe Blu-rays, they actually had a discussion of the science of Fringe with mm -hmm. actual scientists. Yeah, which was uh, which was awesome. Yeah, Fringe so. is a much more near future than to, than most right. sci-fi is far so. future. Anyway, you also have uh, some pre-visualization sequences. The apartment waterfront chase. Mm -hmm. Weird party in there. Uh, <laughs> the fall site. Flight and tripping den. Elevator chase. Car chase. I, I like to see Less things chases. before. Yeah. Sounds and like they're uh, banking on those chases. Yes, yeah, seriously. Maybe they were. a bit it too was, much. They, they were. It was <laughs> definitely too much of that. Yeah. Um, also, total action. Uh, you know, talking with uh, showing Colin Farrell, the tripping den, Quaid's bedroom, but <laughs> Kate Beckinsale, all these old things about um, the action in the movie. So I see, which is very heavy in the movie, almost yeah. too much, if you will. <laughs> One might say too heavy. Um, but at the very least, you get either the Blu-ray with the ultraviolet, or you know, DVD with ultraviolet. So you know, that's something. Yeah. I, if you really like the film, go for yeah, it. Yeah, plenty but of I, special features for. I, I say, forget it. I, I say, just get the original. Yes, exactly. And look at me, Quado. Yeah. Classic uh, mm -hmm. Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Moving right along, mm -hmm. one of the more interesting or perhaps provocative movies of the year. All because Matthew McConaughey's filleting. He doesn't do it. No, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> it's done to him. Yes, that's right. Um, Sorry. We're talking <laughs> Killer, Killer Joe. Joe. <laughs> this is the... Uh, Crime drama gone yeah, wrong, right. starring Matthew McConaughey and Gina Gershon <laughs> and a chicken wing. <laughs> yes. Um, Gina Gershon always, you know, very uh, willing to class herself up for a movie role. She was in Showgirls. <laughs> yes, she was. So she uh, she has a special special occasion with mm. a chicken wing. Let's yes. just leave it at that. Yes. Anyway, um, definitely an interesting film. Definitely gotten a lot of provocative um <laughs> interest because of that <laughs> it's actually besides that fairly tame i mean mm -hmm. there's a little abuse and stuff like that but it's it's just a classic crime drama of like a, a sort of a, a heist essentially gone wrong hmm. basically Got and it. um you know it's it's william freakin French oh, yes. Connection, okay. uh, Exorcist, so very, very good director. Actually interviewed him. Nice. Uh, did a roundtable that's on this very website. Cupinpodcast.com. Yeah. And you, so you got a Q&A with the cast from South by Southwest, an intro from South by Southwest by him, an audio commentary by him on the wow. film. And the one that I found most interesting is Southern Fried Hospitality from stage to screen because this is based on a play. Ah, interesting. So, and it very much feels that way if you see it. It feels you could see how it would be a play, especially since the third act is essentially all in one room. I so see. it gotcha. very much feels like one one 
sort of setting. Interesting. Yeah. So Interesting. it's 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 a it's a pretty it's an enjoyable film. I, I I didn't I wouldn't rave about it. Some people seem to love it. Some people seem to hate it. I enjoyed it much more than I thought it was. Hmm. So I, I I would check it out if you're a fan of Friedkin or you really like the movie. Then yeah. I would recommend checking this. I'll out. I'll probably check it out. Yeah. So you get that. I might movie. wait till it's on Netflix. So four years from now, who knows? It's unrated though, thankfully. So that's an important. Mm. One. Gotta get that for that special chicken <laughs> wing. One that Greg will definitely be picking up. Oh on. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> oh so is much. Pitch Perfect, the Blu-ray DVD digital copy ultraviolet edition. We all know, you know, nothing I like more than a ladies' musical. Singing competition. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. This is obviously, as I said, a sort of a um, young female uh, singing competition mm-hmm. starring a lot of young, talented actresses: Anna Kendrick, That's Brittany right, Snow, yes. Rebel Wilson. Um, very, it's it's a surprisingly fun film, I will hmm. say. And it says it, the guy who vehemently doesn't like musicals. But they're in context. Okay, so, so it's, it's less a musical, more a movie about music. Yes, okay. exactly. It's within concerts. You know, when they're singing, they're performing Got in the it. movie. So Got it's, it. It, it, it's not like they just stop and go off on that. Nobody just does tap dance numbers downstairs. No. <laughs> no. But Less you, interested. In terms of this week, it actually has some of the most special features of anything that we saw. You know, Way for instance, they perfect. have uh, deleted extended scenes, which seem appropriate for yeah. this kind of thing. Longer um, versions of songs, etc. Yes, there's a, the music video for Starships that they perform in the, mo- in the movie. Um, Finally, a movie with a relevant reason for a music video. Yeah, seriously. Like, <laughs> performed in movie and a movie about musical well, performances. Also, uh, there's line rama where the actors showcase their improv- improvisational skills and collection of funny one-liners from the set. Not horrible. No. And actually, if you get the Blu-ray, there's more line rama with the Aka Inappropriate Edition. <laughs> oh! oh, oh going oh, with that music theme. Yes. And there's, uh, yeah, you know, so there, there's uh, a lot of that going on, as well as there's sort of like a breakdown of the burrito attack scene in the movie, and you know, just a, a lot of, uh, you know, stuff related to the music as well, you know, interviewing huh. um, various people in it about the music and whatnot. So Interesting. It's It seems like a very comprehensive release. So if Definitely. you like Pitch Perfect, or you are intrigued by it, you might be one to check this out because you know also has all the various mm-hmm. versions so yeah that never hurts never hurts at all yeah the last one and probably my favorite film uh yeah, yeah definitely my favorite definitely. film of the ones that we're talking about mm-hmm. sleepwalk with me mm-hmm. this is the mike grabiglia directed yes. um semi yeah, biographical yeah, yeah. story yeah. An interpretation of about this own American life. life segment about his own life. Which he wrote a play. Yeah. I mean, there's a yeah, play it's, at some it's, point it's, in there. I don't it's know. a long line of many versions of yes. this story being told. But, you know, it's about his troubles with um, sleepwalking, mm-hmm. which he does incredibly yes. he intensely. Has like a, I forget what they call his type of sleepwalking. but it's listen, to, yeah. listen to my interview with him, <laughs> which we did, Yep, which was awesome. Yes. Super, super nice guy. Mm-hmm. Film is fantastic. Very, I, very I loved good. it. Very, very funny film. Sadly, the DVD release of this is so lame. Like, the But, only- I mean, I kind of, I'm not, I, I, won't, I won't say I'm surprised because, uh, I, I'll say I'm not surprised because I doubt there was much studio backing for it. It was probably sure, all. Sure, but why doesn't he do, out. like, at least a, audio commentary literally he's literally the like only thing the on it is the trailer like that's mm-hmm. literally the only special feature like maybe it's one of those things like oh if enough of them sell they can actually release one with features or i don't know maybe it didn't do well enough in the theaters which i don't maybe, see how that how, could be how challenging would so it be to, for him to record an audio commentary like he he's i mean he definitely has no shortage of things to say about it hell i talked to him about yeah. it for like 20 maybe he minutes. did maybe they people in charge kiboshed it who knows uh, it's lame I, I would very much like to hear it, especially since you know he can sort of dispel some of the stuff that's true for yes. a fact for yeah. instance oh like, i would be fascinated by it anyway. for instance like they turned his brother into a sister mm-hmm. because they felt they needed more feminine presence yes. in the movie, stuff like that and, you know it like it's it's crazy perhaps more you know behind the scenes photos mm-hmm. of the actual events yeah. perhaps getting you know his family to talk about it. there's all sorts of stuff they could have done yeah. i just i'm just they, they did. Yeah. Maybe they will do a more updated version. Favorite but movie, least favorite release as far as features. Yeah, unfortunately. You're absolutely right. So, unfortunately, that's it. But you know, good movie. I definitely mm-hmm. recommend it. If you just want the movie, go for like that digital download or rent it at Scarecrow. You know, totally so. worth it. Anyway, that's it for this week. Join us next time as we talk Leslie Mann in honor of This Is 40. Mm-hmm. And as always, you can find us at MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com slash MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com slash MacGuffinPodcast. Phone number 323-761-9842. We're on iTunes. We're on Blip.tv. We're on Miro. We're on Roku. Checking to get glue. 
get badges or whatever mm-hmm. you do there. Yeah, you get whatever people get at the glue. I assume get some glue. Yeah. Yeah. Huff it. Whatever. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Don't even try to buy the sign style. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The board can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game and it feels alright.